Hi there. Um, today I'm feeling guided to talk about our uniqueness um, and the fact that we are all an important part of creation. I think at this time it's really important for us to come deep within ourselves and to fully accept who we are. <clears throat> I think um, me doing these videos, um, I've realised it's, I think, in a way, as much for me as anyone. I thought only if nobody sees this, it's um, a message for me. Um, it's a message for all of us. So I feel, I think with these videos that I'm kind of documenting what's going on for me um, and also sharing, yeah, what's coming up for me um, and what wisdom's coming through. Um, so I think for a long time I've had this really strong feeling that I want to share this message of our uniqueness. Um, I often get the feeling get the knowing when I'm doing a session with somebody that I hear the words you are known throughout space and time and that feels part of this as well maybe I'll come back to that later um, but I think it's really important for us to understand that um, we're not here to walk the path that anybody else has walked and we're not here to have the experiences that ever anybody else is having um, I know that I've fallen into, I was going to call it, into a trap of, um, I've read a lot of books, I listen to a lot of YouTube stuff around awakening, people's processes, um, and I really like that, I really enjoy listening to those, but I recognise within myself that I begin to compare, and I want to know how I can have that experience. Um, and the thing is, we are all unique, so we are not going to have the same experience as somebody else. We may have a similar experience, and there may be, there will be teachings that are really useful for us. Um, but the ultimate experience is our own experience. So, um, yeah, I think that. I'm really needing to fully understand that for myself at, at this time and um, th the message coming for me over the weekend really strong and I mean it's always a message that's coming but I, I feel like I'm mm, beginning to embody it more is um, self-acceptance um, and accepting the way that I live my life um, so that I'm not in conflict with it. I'm, uh, there may be areas that I need to change, but I think that comes through um, acceptance. Um, so, yeah, the, the feeling of acceptance, I think it, it works on, on, on many, many levels, and um, one really one powerful experience I had over the weekend, um, I've had this feeling of sadness in my heart for such a long time and sometimes I feel it as anxiety sometimes and yeah, but just a really strong feeling of sadness in my heart and I kind of got to the stage I was like, I've had enough of this. Um, so I decided to go really deep in side and, and see what see what wants to happen within me um, and I think first that my first step for, for getting in there was the acceptance of the feeling um, so once I accepted it I was I was able to talk with it and, and understand what it needed um, yeah so I would say really it's really time for us to fully accept who we are and to release the need to compare and um, and celebrate in who we are because you are a beautiful beautiful unique being there is no one else or nothing else in creation that is you and you get to experience being you I mean when you begin to see it from a wider perspective like, oh, wow, 
I better start enjoying me because there's no other being in the world that gets to experience me. I may uh, meet other people and have relationships with other people, but they will never experience me in the way that I experience me. So, yeah, how am I experiencing myself? And if I'm in judgment and fear of myself, yeah, what feels like a waste of, of, uh, of my life. And I guess we go through these experiences, though, in order to come into more of a an understanding of who we are. So, yeah, my message today is to really, really love yourself and just love you the way you are. You don't need to change. There may be changes that need to, that will take place within yourself, but you're not going to be, I think what I've recognised in me is that I think that when I get over there, when I become this thing, when I become that thing, when, when I can do this thing better, then I'll feel happy or, or yeah, then I'll be able to be accepted more, and it's just not true. Like, it's now, it's the now moment. This is the only true moment, so, yeah, it's really time to come into full acceptance of, of who you are with with all the bits that you carry, all the bits that might feel like they're heavy and wrong. I think fully accepting them first and then and then they can change and we can release them but all the time we try to push them down cover them up they're still there these aspects are still there so it's really time to journey deep into the aspects that don't serve us anymore aren't comfortable but accepting them first is a really important part of the process and I I found for me that a really useful way of doing that was to become the observer, to, to witness that place. So often I think it's our inner child that is in pain. And um, I found it really useful to, to see myself, um, see the aspects of me as slightly separate, I guess, and to bring in compassion and love and just to hold myself and, and ask that aspect of me what it what it needs. And um, I'll just share quickly what that aspect of me that was feeling really sad really needed. It really needed the love of the Divine Mother. Um, and I realised that I didn't believe that I was good enough in life. Um, there were lots of beliefs in there. One of the beliefs was that nobody loves me. Um, and another belief was that I was all alone. And I tell you what, we are not alone. Oh my God, we are so not alone. Um, and I really felt the Divine Mother come in and, and she said, like, I'm always with you. I will walk with you. You never have to do anything alone. And, and I saw myself giving her my heart. And, and now it's like the sense of my heart is being carried by... The Divine Mother to, by Source, and as I really connected to that place, um, yeah, and she said, like we, we co-creation, it really is co-creation. We really aren't doing this by ourselves. We don't have to do this by ourselves. We really can come into a place where we connect deeply to our our Source, our inner light, and that energy is creating with us. Yeah, that was really important. I was really wanting to be coming into that place. It's like I know that place from my mind. Um, but yeah, really experiencing it. So I kind of feel like that's going to be part of a daily meditation for me when I wake in the mornings is to, to connect to that place within me and to hand my heart over each time and, and to feel held there and to know that I'm not journeying on my own. None of us are journeying on our own. We have each other, uh, but we have this deep connection within us. Whatever you wish to connect to, to hold you through your life, to hold you through difficult times, and just to just to create with. Yeah, we don't have to do it on our own. So, I send you many blessings. 
I send you much, much love um, on your journey of fully accepting yourself. Mm. Much love and blessings to you.